All right, I forget the horse. I'm just walking. <laughs> I cannot bear to hear that song one more time. I'm going to have to hear it again, though, because we have to ride her back to... Or is it a boy? It might be a boy. Oh, no, I think it is a boy. We have to ride it back to um, Townbrook. Florian. Huh. Okay, finally, Jesus. Here we go. Let's get the goddamn crown. Good health to you. And to you, friend. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. Good luck to you. Oh my God. What a long quest that was. Finally finished. That's like, I think we spent about four or five episodes on this by the time it's all said and done. We're gonna go see Lady Stephanie now. I'll probably end up breaking this session into two parts. Just because I don't want it to be an hour long. But it might not be that long. I'm cutting a lot of stuff out, you know, doing maintenance and whatnot. And I'll cut out the traveling unless we see something cool. Might as well go grab the treasure outside of Scallets as well. Since we're going to be kind of up in the area. And then from Scallets we can go east and get to Townburg to talk to Lady Stephanie. We can kind of see the state of Scallets as well while we're up there. I don't know if you rebuild that place in this game. I sure hope so. It'd be nice to for Henry to have his hometown back in working order. They have to do something about all the refugees as well. So it might be worth it for like a military force to go up there and clean out the bandits and maybe fund the refugees so they can rebuild the town. Be a smart thing to do probably. Found a crossing point luckily. And I think we just go straight north from here. These could even be the Scallops Woods. Oh no, they're the Sampesh Woods. Is that a marker? No. I don't even know where we are. I'm just going to keep going north. We were in Sasau. If I just go straight north, then I'll be able to see Scallops on the horizon. I think we're coming up on a clearing here. Careful. Make sure it's not a cliff. Oh, that's not an opening. Can I get out? Yeah. Not much of a clearing. But I think I can just get out of here. With a little <laughs> will and determination. Managed it. Who are you? Just another wayfarer. I don't know why I keep checking. Is that Scallets? That might be a town we've not discovered. Yeah, that's not Scallets. Or have we? No, I don't think we've been here. What the hell is this place? Might be Neuhof? Oh no. Mehroid? Mehroid? I don't know. Mehroed? Something like that. Horse trader? Hold on a second. I want to take a look at these horses. I think the one that I want might be here. Can't remember what her name is. No. No. I don't think that one. No, it is War Horse. Yeah, it's her. I think she's like one of the best overall horses in the game. And plus War Horse, Jenda, that's a pretty cool ass name. So I think we'll pick her up once we have the funds. It's about 2,500, if, uh, if I remember correctly. Shit, luckily I didn't accidentally take the wrong horse. He has a saddle on him though, so it'd be hard to mess that up. And I don't even think I can get on that thing. And there's the Mehrod, Mero Jed Woods in a woodland garden. Somewhere we passed. Wow. A boar hunting spot as well. Wow. All the discoveries. Yeah. 
the hell are we? We might be entering the Scallop's Woods now. I've been going north for quite a while. Should be nearing it soon. No, what the hell is that? Prib Slavitz Forest. Okay. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Let's see where we are on the map. Might be able to decipher. I think we're over here. No. Where was that town that we were in? Oh, it's not a marked town. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it that? Yeah. So we're like... Oh, shit, we need to go west. Heavy west. Yeah. Okay. I found a path. I'm just gonna stay on it. It's gotta lead somewhere. Oh, never mind. I'm off of it. Yeah. Very creepy looking woods. In a dark and ominous. Uh, we found the place. Privlevitz. Yeah. From here, we go just west and a little bit south, actually. Went too far north from the looks. Oh, wow, there's like a, a hut over here. A couple of them. Can't. Oh no. Get up on the thing. The embankment. Are these. These are gonna be bad guys, I think. Hey, what's up? Was that guy mad? He wasn't mad. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Couldn't tell if he was a bandit. Might be a charcoal burner. Howdy. It's Bor Bora. Boira. Pretty feminine name for a dude. Yeah, these are charcoal burners. Good to see they're alright after the battle at Scallets. Another camp. Who's here? I hear somebody doing some work. Yeah, there he is. Making something. Should be close to Scallets. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right, let's take a look. Take a look around. Yeah. All the fires are out. Still very beautiful countryside. Despite everything that's happened. Of course, there's gonna be some wreckage and stuff on the roads. It's par for the course when you get attacked by a massive army, really gonna be nobody but bandits around here I'm sure so nobody that we want to see at all if we see any bandits we'll have to we'll have to keep going can't contend with them yet but eventually man I'm telling you we will come to scallops and we will clear out all the bandits even if we're not prompted to by like the main quest or anything I'll make it my own personal quest to rid these bandits of our homeland. Or rid our homeland of the bandits, rather. <laughs> Here's the tree on the treasure map. Kind of weird that I just know this one. Henry has a map, though, so... There's not much I can do about it from a roleplay perspective. I'm not going to pretend to wander around aimlessly when I know that it is somewhere around here. Right? It better be. It's either... Oh, I think I got confused by the tree the last time I did this. It might not be this one. It might be this one. Right? Yeah, that is right. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank God I remembered that. Yeah, I was looking around when I was first found this thing. I was looking around this tree for like a long ass time. Um, come to find out it was the one right next to it. As you can see on the map, you can tell it's like a weeping willow tree. Based off the map, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see. But it only shows the one. It doesn't show two sitting right next to each other. So it kind of throws you off a bit. Alright, let's get into this. I don't think it's super good. There might be some cool shoes in here, actually. If I remember correctly. Let's see. 
Like dark riding boots? Noble dark shoes. Yeah, those were the ones. Hmm. Those might be pretty good. And a basic horse riding skill book. Version 4. That's pretty neat. Or is that 5? No, that's not 5. It might be 6 though. Nah, it's gotta be 4. Okay, cool. So we'll take that. We will take the Grashen, the Noble Dark Shoes. Actually, just all of this. Aqua Vitilius. That's that stuff that um takes away any ailments, heals 30 health. And uh, yeah, I think that's the one at least. We have one in our chest, pretty sure. So now we have the recipe book for that. Oh, I don't think I've shown you guys what it looks like when you look at a book and you don't know how to read. Oh shit, what? I, I haven't done alchemy, so I didn't know that that was going to happen. Well, let me look at this book. Yeah, look at that. Look, saddle a horse. Riding. You're doing it wrong. You're... <laughs> I have no idea. Back must uh, move. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's pretty funny that he doesn't know how to read. Um, I didn't know that the alchemy book would just disappear like that. Kind of weird. But now we know the, uh, how am I supposed to know that? Is it in my codex or something? Like, how am I supposed to know how to make that potion? Huh. I'll have to look into that. Alchemy? No. Hmm. Maybe when you go to an alchemy stand, there's like a, an option to view the book there. At least let's hope so. Otherwise I'm screwed because I don't know how to do that. What else was I going to look at? I was going to look at something. The hell was it? Hmm. Can't remember. That was probably it. A hundred percent at Scalots. The only place that's um down is Townburg. Because we messed around a bit there. I think we oh yeah, we got caught stealing, remember? Episode two or three. Oh, god damn it, my stomach hurts. I know, Henry, soon. Okay. What the balls? Hey. You that Oh no. Okay, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. Yeah, I got in trouble taking stuff. Happens to the best of us, though. Okay, well, off to Townburg. What time is it? Ooh, we're gonna get there and it's gonna be nighttime, probably. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to check the boots. Are these better? They're worth a tremendous amount. I think they're exactly the same. They are. So, I guess I can sell them. Nah, forget it. We'll keep them. And sell those. Just because they're worth more. Uh, yeah. I seem to have the same stats, but having a higher value might be useful. Yeah. I'm not sure if it if they take that into account, the value of your items, but I'm sure that they do in some capacity. Oh, and of course, when I loot that chest, I'll pop up a little thing saying what the normal loot is when you're not on hardcore mode. There's probably a weapon of some description in there. That seems to be what they're taking out of the chests is just the weapons for the most part. Very nostalgic being on this path. I remember the humans chasing us down. Really weird feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I like it though. Sad times, man. We'll get over it though. We'll be better off for it. Hopefully. Henry always said that he wanted to leave Scallets. I don't think he planned on leaving it this way though. Not at all. <laughs> I remember Henry said, hold left. Or something like that. When we were on our way to Townburg. Horse is getting very pissed off for some reason. <laughs> Stamina must be extremely low. I gotta remember to stop walking every once in a while. Or stop running, sprinting. And give him a break. I feel bad for him. He has, man, he has broken in this horse. He has gone all over the place. I think we went from one horsemanship up to nearly four on this one quest. That's pretty astounding, actually. And we're going to have to walk back to Rite once we turn this in. Unless they give us a horse for finishing this. Which I highly doubt that they will. Um, but yeah, it'll be fine. We'll get some Vitality XP and I'll do some hunting and stuff on the way back to Rite. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when you do the main quest you get a horse. I'm sure I mentioned that, but the horse is very shit. 
So that's why I'm still talking about buying a horse because we don't want a really garbage horse. We need something with good speed and something that's worth investing in because you have to buy a bunch of equipment for your horse like um, saddlebags and better horseshoes and spurs and all sorts of stuff that will increase the stats of your horse. And you don't want to waste all that good equipment on the kind of horse that they give you for free in the main quest. It's one of the worst horses in the game. I think it's a level zero horse, which is, yeah, that that would be the worst because the only ones you can buy from stable masters are level one and up. So its stats are like really bad. How did we discover this grindstone for the first time just now? I wonder if we can get up into town from here. Might be able to. I've never tried. Oh yeah, look. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna wind in there. Nice. Wow, how many times have I gone past this and not gone up that way? Maybe not much on this playthrough, but when I was first playing, for sure I passed out yeah. a bunch. Okay, here we are. Uh -huh. Nailed it. We got all the other stuff too. Let's go speak with the lady. I think you can actually see the horse that they give you. Might be that one. Let me look. Yeah, it's either that one or, or this one. Speed 30. Um, I don't think it is that one. I think the one that you get slower. Could be wrong, though. Let's see, is it that? Oh, no, that's the Roan. Um, as a reference point, the horse that I looked at, the one that I said we were going to get, what was her name? Warhorse Joanne or something like that. She has 40 speed compared to that one's 30. So, much better. Even than that one, if that's not the one that we get, that's still a pretty bad horse. Where? This is the wrong place. I think we gotta go upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Please don't tell me you're asleep. Well, Thank God. Henry. I'm glad you're here. Oh man, I'm glad I'm here too, Lady Stephanie. It's been quite the adventure. Let's have a chat. Finally. I'll save you. What do you need? I've got all your stuff. I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Hmm. No, nothing. He was good. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Like 50 no. fucking times. Then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <laughs> um, two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. No worries, that was cringy as hell. <laughs> Go ahead, give her the crown. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? The wine. I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just say that we don't know the... <laughs> The meaning of the word problems. We handled it pretty well, I think. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. Uh, that should be everything. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's, That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. 
It should fit you just right. But... but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. All right, then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. Oh my god, that's that's sad as hell. My lady. Uh oh. Might be getting a little too touchy there, Henry. Oh god. Oh no. Oh shit, okay. Alright, well, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Jesus Forgive Christ. Me, my lady, I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. Alright, that's one way to rub shoulders with the nobility, Henry. Oh my god. We're gonna sleep with the Lady of Tomberg. Jesus Christ. What's Teresa gonna think? Oh no, Henry, what have you done? God damn it. A oh, vitality went up, yeah, I bet. And we got a shirt. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. That was very interesting, actually. Um, do we want to open that? Nah, she'll probably hear it. You sleep well, Lady Stephanie. You're gonna need some sleep after that work Henry just gave you. <laughs> oh my God! I gotta. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna call it an episode here. We finally finished that quest. Feels very good. In the next one, we'll go ahead and start on the main quest. Finally. To be really fun. Oh, we have a little perk for yeah, alpha male. That means we definitely had relations up there for sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, we'll start the main quest in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.